one of us, cool. Some of us have used this before. Awesome. Some of us have not. So this is a pretty neat tool. Um, we're going to use it quite often in here. I think I like it. My other classes have liked it to kind of share some of our thoughts. So what I would like for you all to do on the Jamboard, I can see all of you all entering. Thank you so much. If you could use the post-it note feature, that's in the left sidebar. So if you will create a post-it note and just share with the class um, what type of blog or vlog that you watch. So I'm going to share one that my family watches. We watch um, a lot of Good Mythical Morning. So once you do that, you'll need to move your post-it note. They all like to generate in the same corner. So if everybody would take a chance and share something that you watch on YouTube, that's a vlog or a blog that you like to read. All right. We have, so you'll need to pull the post-it notes away because they all generate in the same spot. Good. So Joe Rogan Podcasts. Danny Duncan, Ben Sharpio, True Crime, Misfits. Good, I'm waiting on a couple more of us to add. Post-it notes, the Matt Barnes podcast. The Real Tarzan. Lifestyle. Someone likes to watch DIY podcasts or blogs. Someone else, there's two of us in here that likes lifestyle blogs and vlogs. Good, great job. Makeup, yeah. Um, I can get sucked into a good makeup tutorial. All right, great job, guys. Farming and crime cool okay we're gonna move on to the next jam board so at the top you'll see it says one out of six if you all click the right arrow um you should be on the how to and tutorial jam board now so this is going to launch us into our lesson for today um, thank you all for taking the time to share what type of blogs and vlogs that you like. I want you all to start thinking about that as we move into writing our own blogs. So, um, let's talk about some different types of blogs that you all can create. At this point, you should have already determined your topic. Uh, and today we're going to work on creating an outline. But let's start with how to and tutorial. What are some characteristics of how to and tutorial blogs? So using the post-it note feature again, what are some characteristics or qualities that you all notice when you watch a how to vlog or when you read a how to blog? If you all could take a moment and start adding some post-its and share with the class. Good. Step by step. They're informational. Step by step. Great. It's okay for you all to add things that people have already said. That just reinforces that that is something that's really important to that type of blogger vlog. Great. So I'm seeing lots of step by step, step by step tutorials. They're all informational based. They have different steps. They are explaining. They're instructional. Oh, I really like that word. Um, so more than just, you know, giving you information, they're giving you instructions. They tend to have good setups. They're explaining. They're slow paced. Good. Multiple steps. What about visually? Um, even in a written blog about how to use tutorials, what do they visually provide for you? In-depth descriptions. Good. So somebody think, what can you all share? What type of, vi what do they, I almost get, I almost probably just said it. What, yeah, manual pictures, good. So if it is a written blog, 
with your pictures, a lot of the times for how to's and tutorials, they're going to share um, images of either the process or the final product. That's a really important thing to have in a how to or tutorial blog. Good. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the next Jamboard. So if y'all will go to slide three. Another type of blog that you might encounter or experience or may choose to write is a review blog. So same things. What are some qualities and characteristics of a review blog? Please start sharing. Detailed thoughts. I'm seeing lots of opinions, honest opinions. Okay, so some of the reviews might be good. Some of the reviews might be bad. Okay. One second, guys. Hey, Brandon, I see that you just joined us. You're going to need to, um, I'm sharing a link with you. You're going to need to join us on this link, okay? All right. Personal experiences, accurate feedback good and bad qualities of the product, opinions, feedback on what needs to be fixed, writers share about others, it's their personal experience with the product, person, place, or thing. Good. So when people write reviews, a lot of the things um, that they write about are products or restaurants or experiences or movies they might include how to fix it it's awesome for them to include their expertise or incredibility yeah so if i'm reading a restaurant review i want to know why do i care what that person's opinion of this restaurant is very good all right so one more thing i want you all to think about what do a lot of reviews have um it's a system that helps us to all judge the product. What's that called, guys? So when people leave reviews for a product, yeah, great, awesome, a rating. So we all understand universally what a rating system is. So if something has five stars, we know it's really good. And if something has one star, we know it's not so good. So lots of reviews include some type of rating system. Great job, guys. All right, this will be our last GM board today. Lots of you all said you want it to ride, so go up to the top and click over to four out of six now. Lots of you all in your brainstorming said that you want it to write personal blogs. So can you all share with me some qualities and characteristics that personal blogs have? personal experiences, real life experiences. Yeah, a personal blog, you have to keep your reader interested. True stories and experiences, feelings, information about you. Yeah, so this part right here, information about you. Let's talk about that for a second. So it's really important to include some type of information about you. What's that specific word or specific type of information that you need to include in a personal blog? I need a word before information, blank information. Can someone add that post-it note? What type of specific information about you does the reader need if you're going to write a personal blog? This ties into the why should I care what you have to say um, background information. Thank you so much. If you're going to write a personal blog, you need some solid background information um, to provide to your audience. Because I am not going to care as much about your personal story if I don't know about you. So um, I work with Miss Hardy a lot. And one of her really good examples was that if I were to write a parenting blog, 
you would need that background information about me that I have kids. But if someone was writing a parenting blog and they didn't have children, we wouldn't really care what they had to say. They're lacking that in their background information. Great job, guys. All right. Um, go ahead and hop off the Jamboard for now.